Al. When the loonie was low, it was a good time for Americans to buy property on PEI, and many did. But now there's a new group snapping up waterfront property. And Sophia Harris has that story. For some, this is paradise, a home by the water in a secluded area. To my left, if we follow it along here, we've got the bayfront lots. There's uh, about eight bayfront lots. This real estate agent shows off Sunbury Cove Estates. The subdivision will feature large homes on the south shore. All the lots have a beautiful water view of Confederation Bridge, New Brunswick. You can see Summerside Harbor. And this area will soon have another unique feature, an enclave of Westerners. Most of the 18 plots sold so far have been claimed by Western Canadians, mainly from Alberta. There's a lot of people now are nearing retirement. A lot of them are looking to invest in real estate, uh, waterfront real estate. And in uh, British Columbia, for instance, uh, waterfront property, you can't touch for under a million dollars these days. Recreational waterfront property is in high demand across the country. But Atlantic Canada remains the most affordable market. The attraction here? A view of the water for under $200,000. Prince Edward Island has some of the cheapest waterfront in all of Canada and perhaps all of North America. The first home being built belongs to a man from B.C. Developer Bill Harnett says the buyer will probably retire here. Why would someone from the West want to retire out here? capitalize on the equity they have in their homes out there. Real estate values have gone up so high uh, the last four or five years out there that they can uh, take that money and invest it on this coast and have an early retirement. But Western retirees won't make up the entire neighborhood. Craig Demchuk recently moved here from Alberta. He's not only working at this site, but also he plans to live here. The town I was from was, was kind of getting big city and it's nice, the country lifestyle out here. and. For what I sold my house there, I was able to just about buy one out right here, so it was a good way to get ahead. And the western community here could expand. Investors are seeking permission to develop more land at this site because they believe there's big potential in a view of the water at a reasonable price. Sophia Harris, CBC News, Sunbury Cove. Nearly 8,000 tourists will not be coming to Prince Edward.